Let's talk about how to overcome limiting beliefs. In my last video, I talked about what a limiting belief is. Today, I'm gonna to give you a four-step process to show you how you can overcome your own limiting beliefs. The first step is to identify the belief. This might take some time because limiting beliefs are often so deeply entrenched in our minds that we're not even aware that we have them. So try this. Sit down and take about 15 or 20 minutes and simply write down your thoughts about things like money, happiness, relationships, and career. Start with a few words like, I believe that money, or I believe that happiness, and then continue to write your thought. Now, I know it can be hard to sit down and stare at a blank sheet of paper, so I made a list of writing prompts and examples to help you get started over on my blog. After you've spent some time doing this, pay attention to your thoughts and statements about money, relationships, or your career over the next week. If you discover more beliefs, add them to your list. Now, I've personally found that a lot of people have limiting beliefs surrounding money, so let's use that as an example. Oh, and let's throw in some scarcity mentality for good measure. So here's an example of a limiting belief. I'll never make enough money to do everything I wanna do. Oh, it just feels icky and sticky to say that. And that's because limiting beliefs cause us to shrink down, feel small, and sometimes hopeless. By contrast, think about how you feel when you learn a new skill or make a new discovery. The feeling is open, expansive, and empowering. Now, I know some fierce defenders of this particular belief about money have stockpiled reason after reason why they believe that this is true. And some people might say that they're just being realistic by holding on to their shrinktastic way of thinking. However, these defenses are really just false benefits that seemingly support a limiting belief. So what do I mean when I say false benefits? Well, let's talk a little bit about that. Many times the false benefit of a limiting belief is self-protective. And on the surface, the seeming benefit can make us feel really nice and cozy because it reinforces some comfort-based thinking. For example, here are some of the false benefits for the belief, I'll never have enough money to do everything I wanna do. Ooh, good thing I don't have to try because the cards are stacked against me anyway. Oh, thank goodness I don't have to step out of my comfort zone, which is great because I really like it in the zone. If I'll never make enough money anyway, I don't have to try and I don't have to risk failure. Although it might feel really comfy to say these things, deep down you'll start to recognize that this way of thinking is actually really consistent Restrictive. It keeps your mind small, your goals tiny, and your imagination and your creativity really start to suffer. And whether you know it or not, you're also programming yourself to look for examples that support your limiting belief instead of being open to new ideas and opportunities. Once you've listed your limiting beliefs and the false benefits they bring, it's time to write a new belief. This part is really fun because as you do it, you'll start to feel a lightness come over you. You'll feel freer and even excited. Writing new beliefs is going to rewire your brain to think openly and help you attract the results you want in your life instead of anchoring down on those sad, suffocating patterns of thought you're so used to. So let's go back to our example limiting belief. I'll never make enough money to do everything I wanna do. Let's rewrite that belief to say, there are many ways to make money and soon I'll have enough dollars in my bank account to do anything I want. And look, just like that, you've started to attract your desired result into your life instead of subconsciously shooing it away. Now, don't just write this new belief and then forget about it. Repeat it to yourself as often as you feel your old ways of thinking coming knocking and eventually you'll replace that old and busted belief with a shiny new one. So let's review. Start by making a list of all your limiting beliefs. Write down the false benefits of each belief. Write a new belief. Repeat your new belief often. We are all subject to limiting beliefs from time to time. But with this four-step process, it's totally possible to not only overcome your limiting beliefs, but rewrite new ones that are going to make you oh so powerful.